Hydraulics not only plays a key role in our work lives, it plays a role in our play lives too. Universal Studios in Hollywood, California is home to some of the most cutting edge hydraulic attractions in the world. You would not be able to have any of these attractions move this much weight and be this reliable without hydraulics. It just would never happen. One of the more complex hydraulic attractions at Universal Studios is Earthquake the Ride. Passengers entering this stage are given an idea of what it's like to endure a massive seismic event. The hydraulic system for Earthquake runs on just two 50 horsepower motors. The system works by sending fluid through hydraulic pumps to a series of accumulators that store the fluid at pressure, keeping it ready for each show. Underneath the floor of Earthquake, a dark cavern is home to dozens of hydraulic cylinders. Moving the 20,000 pound floor bed in linear and lateral movements, the cylinders create the feeling of an 8.3 tembler. But that's only one of the hydraulic effects on this ride. As the show's going on, we have a large slab that'll fall. It's got four big hydraulic cylinders behind it. It is probably somewhere around 9,000 pounds. And also we have a train that comes out and crashes right in front of the tram. It's driven out by a hydraulic ram. When the tram exits the stage, the hydraulic cylinders retract, carefully putting all the props back to their original positions. You have to keep the uh, show exactly the same every single time. Earthquakes hydraulics are very sophisticated. Universal's Terminator 2 3D also features several precision hydraulic effects. Hydraulics control the platforms that raise and lower different characters onto the stage. And they also animate the six gun-toting Cyberdyne robots using 3,000 PSI pumps to actuate cylinders in the head, torso, and arms. But the attraction that utilizes the most hydraulic effects at Universal is Jurassic Park, the ride. Visitors cruise through prehistoric tropics encountering a bevy of life-size and lifelike dinosaurs, including a 40-foot-tall ultrasaur that uses 15 hydraulic cylinders in the neck alone. This particular figure we just saw, the oil that comes in here, this is a pressure line, it's set at 3,000 PSI. The hydraulic module here will distribute the oil to the figure itself which has, the one we saw is just the torso and head. It has six separate moves, six separate cylinders, and it's all powered by hydraulic. After encountering several dinosaurs, the ride drops another hydraulic thrill, so to speak. We use hydraulics on the falling car for two reasons, really. It's, it's more controllable than any other kind of power, and it's also less expensive energy-wise. The cylinder's actually hooked up to a block and tackle. And what that does is that increases the motion of the Jeep compared to the cylinder. The Jeep will move 32 feet, while well, a cylinder will only move nine. So all we need is a nine foot cylinder to get that much movement. That increases the force on the cylinder, but the hydraulics overcomes that and it, it's no problem at all. Then there's Water World, which uses a hydraulic catapult to launch a 2,000 pound airplane 60 feet across a man-made lake. And, of course, there's old Bruce the Shark. With so many hydraulic attractions, it's no surprise that even the trams at Universal run with the help of hydraulics.